Hello guys, good day and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be introducing us to gamma and beta functions. Now, what would you do if you were given such an integral? This integral looks pretty funny and it looks confusing and tough. But here's what I would do if I was given such a problem solution. So let's say I want to ask you, um, solve for the value of i, i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 over root 2, x squared root 1 minus 2x squared dx. So to solve this problem, here is how I'm going to tackle it. First of all, I am going to do some substitutions in this integral um, like this. I'll say um, consider this term over here and say let's um, t be equal to 2x squared so if t is equal to 2x squared it means that dt is equal to 4x dx and um, it also means that um, the boundaries of the integral will change So anytime you're making a substitution into an integral, make sure that you observe um, the changes that are going to be made on the boundaries, the upper and the lower boundaries of the integral. Now, um, we have t to be 2x squared. So when x is 0, when x is 0, we have t to be equal to 0. So when x is equal to 1 all over 2, so we have t is equal to 2 into 1 all over root 2 all squared and if you evaluate this you should get 2 all over 2 which is 1 okay so the boundaries of the integral has now changed from 0 to 1 over root 2 to 0 to 1 based on this substitution that we are making on the integral now, um, another thing is that we can decide to make um, x the subject of the formula. So, from this place, um, if you make x the subject of the formula, we can say something like x squared is equal to um, c over 2. And it also implies that um, x is the square root of c over the square root of 2. Okay? So, um, from this point again, I'm trying to change some things together. From this point, we have our dx is equal to 1 all over 4. And um, we have 1 over 4x, then dt. So this is also equal to 1 all over, we have 4 root c all over root 2. Then we have dt. When you evaluate this, you're going to get something like this you're going to get root 2 all over 4 then root t and now have dt so we're just going to keep this one like this for reference so whenever you're making substitutions in an integral you have to be <coughs> conscious about this stem okay in as much as we substituted t to be um 2x squared the integral we will now change its boundaries as we saw here and it will also change the parameter with respect to which we are increasing and um, integrating like, so we are going to change it from the x domain to the t domain that is why i decided to make the x the subject of the formula so we are transforming from the x domain to the variable that you choose to make the substitution so if i take note of all these changes that i have made the integral becomes this so i will now become integral from 0 to 1 because we are transforming it to the t domain so x square x square we already found a dummy way to represent x square so x square here is t over 2 okay so let's look at the program then we now have square root of 1 minus 2 x squared so that becomes square root of 1 minus t because we replaced um 2x squared with t then dx so our formula for dx is root 2 over 4 root t dt 
So the integral that was formerly 0 to 1 over root 2, we have x squared root 1 minus 2x squared. The x have now been transformed to this one. So you are still correct if you solve the integral in this way or this way. So it will still give us the same value of i. Now, um, from this place, what I'm going to do is i is equal to 0 to 1. You now have, um, uh, let's just solve some things to make us all good. Um, we have um, t all over root t. And you now have root 1 minus t. Then you now have root 2 all over, you have an 8 over here. 2 times 4 gives you 8 dt. So when you solve it in this way, what next? You can bring out the constant and now have i is equal to root 2 over 8 integral from 0 to 1. So by law of indices, this becomes t to the 1 minus 1 over 2 because you have t divided by root t and I hope you all know that root t is still t to the 1 over 2. So you have 1 minus t to the 1 over 2 when you change this um, square root symbol to the square root sign and you know, um, to the um, indi indices version of representing the square root. So we have it like this. Then um, the next thing you do is i is equal to root 2 all over 8 then integral from 0 to 1 you now have t to the 1 over 2 then 1 minus t to the 1 over 2 dt so this is a checkpoint let me call this my equation 2 so how do I solve this problem? And you might want to ask me, how do I know that I have to express my integral in this form? Well, let me go a little bit further. I can still express i in this form, 2 all over 8, integral from 0 to 1. Then I have this as t to the 3 over 2 minus 1, and 1 minus t to the 3 over 2 minus 1 dt. So, it's still the same thing because 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 over 2. Okay, so what next and what do you do after you get to this point? So, or how did someone know that he was supposed to get to this point from the question we were given? So remember the question is an integral from 0 to what? 1 over root 2. You have an x squared and um, your 1 minus uh, 2x squared to the 1 over 2. Then you now have dx. This was the original question or something um, that looks like it. And how do I know that I am supposed to express this question in this particular format and solve it like this? So the answer, if you guessed rightly, is integral functions or integration functions. So there are many integration functions that exists out there and good for engineers and of the most integration functions that we are going to be working with in this course we're going to be focusing on the gamma and the beta functions so the gamma and the beta functions now in the next video i am going to introduce us to gamma and beta functions um properly but to round this particular um problem up this is how it's gonna be so you have i is equal to root 2 over 8 and this one transforms to a beta of 3 over 2 comma 3 over 2 and when it transforms to this form it can also be simplified using this formula 2 over 8 so gamma of 3 over 2 another gamma of 3 over 2 divided by gamma of 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 and this is i is equal to root 2 over 8 and you now have gamma of 3 over 2 gamma of 3 over 2 divided by gamma of 3 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 3 so the next time or in the next video i am going to show you how we came about all of this and this can be simplified I'm not going to simplify it in this video till we come to the next video. So, next time. So, um, gamma and beta functions are being introduced to you to help us to 
evaluate integrals with boundaries there are some integrals that are special integrals and they can be transformed to um, their equivalent integration function representation now once they are transformed to their equivalent integration function representation we can easily apply the knowledge that we know about those integration function to helping us to determine the value i of those um, integrals so in the next video I'm going to be introducing us to gamma functions and subsequently in this series you will learn about beta functions, the relationship between the gamma and the beta functions and how to evaluate um, them. Then at the end of the day we are going to go through this problem again and see the answer that will result from this equation next time. So thank you for watching and um, don't forget to like to subscribe to share and please after you subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can stay updated on my latest uh, releases so thank you for watching and i'll uh, see you next time